This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome once again to Green Wave Hockey here on FCAT Sports and worldwide on YouTube. I'm the Green Wave Skate Doctor, Lou Bordeaux, here at the Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield. It's the season opener. The Green Wave take on the Agawam Brownies tonight. I had the opportunity to speak to head coach Adam Bouchard just a few minutes ago. Let's take a look at that. Skate Doctor Lou Bordeaux here. Got the head coach of the Greenfield Green Wave, Adam Bouchard, here. Coach, opening night against Agawam looks to be a good one. What do you, what do you see in this season? Well, you know, we came out to camp uh, two weeks ago, and uh, all these boys and girls that came out to tryouts gave everything they had. We rostered our varsity and our JV program, and uh, all they have to do now is believe in themselves. They put the hard work in. You know, we've got an Agawam team coming in here right now tonight. They just had a game last evening. Uh, we played them last year to a 4-2 victory here on our home ice, and we're really excited to get the season started. Well, you mentioned a game last night down in Amherst, the Hurricanes beating Agawam 5-0. Uh, Agawam put up a, a tough battle for two periods here last year. Are you seeing more of the same tonight, Coach? Yeah, you know, when you're looking at um, what Agawam is going to bring into the building, we know they're going to be a big, strong, tough team. Uh, one thing that we're really excited about this year is the depth, having four lines, be able to roll four lines all night long. Uh, we're looking to get out there and really just keep pounding away, pounding away, and the next thing you know, uh, come away with that, that victory. It's going to be a good one. Good luck, Coach. Thank you very much. Words of wisdom from head coach Adam Bouchard before tonight's matchup against the Agawam Brownies. Last night, Agawam lost their season opener to the Amherst Hurricanes by a 5 to nothing score down in Amherst. Tonight, the Green Wave, it's their season opener. The fellows have been working hard. We've got four captains on the team this year. Mikey McGoldrick is out tonight with a lower body injury. He'll be back next week. Sean O'Sullivan, the softest hands in the business, a great playmaker. He's one of the four captains. Riley Drew, some say the best goaltender in Western Massachusetts. And holding it all together is Brian Bowman. All four seniors, they're ready. And as Coach Adam Bouchard says, it's their time right now. We're going to be back with the starting lineups right now. Thank you.
Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer-driven networking for your business, software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure, extremenetworks.com, Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. And welcome back to the Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield. The 2019-2020 season is underway. Kyle Barnes won that draw. Play goes in down behind Aguam goaltender Nick Brady. Play comes back out to the neutral zone. Kyle Barnes dishes out. Once again with the puck. Over to Derek Lenoys. Aguam dumps in. Riley Drew with his first save of the season. Played 42 seconds so far in the new season. As I said in the open, four senior co-captains this year for the Green Wave. We've also got some freshmen in the lineup. That's Shane Prusak on the draw. He's a freshman. Dumped all the way down for icing. A little bit of a slow pace at the outset tonight. We hope you've all had a good summer, a good fall. This is a night the Green Wave family has been thinking about for the last nine months since falling to the Belchertown Orioles in the playoffs last season. Puck chipped out to the neutral zone. It's Nick Bonagurio for Agawam. Sends it back this way. Jacob Bryant chips it out. Aiden Roach in pursuit. Green Wave in their home white sweaters tonight. Agawam in the visiting orange. Green Wave skating from our right to left as you're watching. 
Puck up into the netting. Going to be a face-off to the right of Nick Brady. 13-34 remaining in a scoreless tie. Had a nice talk with Coach Adam Bouchard earlier. Coach is very excited for this season. Got some skilled hockey players, some skilled student athletes. Third down the other way for an icing. First minute and a half of this hockey game has been kind of a feeling out process. No real rhythm to it yet. There's Jake Croto on the draw. Over along the far side, Bowie Harris keeps it in. Play goes from side to side behind the cage. Aguam chips it in deep. Evan Danik in pursuit. Puck comes out to Croto, he flips it. Gonna be another icing call. Twelve fifty-three remain in the first period of play. Here in Greenfield on opening night, a great crowd on hand for this one. Brian Bowman on the draw. You may remember Brian joined the 100 point club last season. Big six point night got him over the top. MJ Paulin. Dish is behind the goal line. Aguan picked up. Derek Lenoise with the puck. Kept in at the left point by Paulin. Knocks it back in. Dylan Slitch over there. Caden Grover forcing the play there. Sean O'Sullivan gets it up to Lenoise. Lenoise goes through a one on three. That's a little difficult. Paulin takes a look back over to Jacob Bryant. Brian up ice. Brian Bowman's got a clear lane. He's in. Oh, big save by Brady. Just got the right shoulder up on that one. Nice save. Jacob Bryant once again. Moves the puck up. Shane Prusak back to Bryant on the point. Through a lot of traffic, puck went wide. It's Prusak in the corner, Sam Knight's joining him. Green Wave tags up for the onside. Sean O'Sullivan makes the play behind the net. Frees the puck and it's back on the point. And once again, it goes the length of the ice for an icing call. 10-29 remain in the first period of play, 0-0 tie. We're so glad you're joining us on FCAT Sports and worldwide on YouTube. Face off to the left side of Nick Brady. Jake Croto on the draw. Bowie Harris drives it back in from the center stripe. Aguam gains the zone. 
Ryan Maloney kept it in from their point. Evan Danik dug the puck out behind the goal line. Shot goes wide of Riley Drew. Nice defensive play by Croto for the Green Wave. Nick French bats the puck around behind the net. Save, Drew. Evan Danik got his puck on his stick on the puck. Another save, Drew. Agawam scores. That's Ryan Lodato. And that is the Brownies' first goal of the season. Agawam takes the 1 0 lead. Prusak wins the draw back to Kevin Bowman. Up the half wall to O'Sullivan. Sully circles. Plays it off the glass. Kept in by Dylan Slitch. Oh! Slitch took O'Sullivan's feet out from underneath him. He's going to go sit for two. We're going to see the Green Wave power play. got 9.14 remaining in the first period of play here at the Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield. Brian Bowman wins the draw back to MJ Pollen. MJ circles. Takes a look. Intercepted. That's Lodato going in again looking for the shorty. MJ hauled him down from behind. Pollen's going to go sit for two. playing four on four hockey for the next minute 45. Big raucous crowd on hand here in Greenfield tonight. Dean Katanaga from the point shot one over the cage. Jacob Bryant with the puck for Greenfield. Skates out, he's got a little bit of open ice. Puck is kept in momentarily. A lot of pressure by Nate Manser of the Brownies. Puck goes in deep now. Bowie Harris with it, moves it up. Whistle on the play. 8.04 remain in the first period. It's 1-0 in favor of the Agawam Brownies. You're watching Green Wave Hockey on FCAT Sports and worldwide on YouTube. Aiden Roach out for the draw for Green Wave. Aiden Roach again with the puck. Drops it back. Cam Rice from the point. Blocked in front. Sean O'Sullivan with it. Tries to get it back. Andrew Grasso had the puck for Agawam. Roach took it away. He's in over the blue line. Roach cuts. Couldn't quite finish that one off. Good idea by Rochi. O'Sullivan circles. 
Blockered away by Nick Brady. Connor Adamchik over the blue line for Aguilar. Shane Prusak momentarily had the puck. MJ Paulin retrieves. Circles back behind the cage. He's going to take a look. A little bit of pressure on him. He goes the length of the ice for an icing call. We've got 6.37 remaining in the first period of play. Agawam leading this one, 1-0 on a goal by Ryan Lodato. His first of the season. Brian Bowman out to take the draw. Facing Connor Adamczyk. Bowman wins the draw back to Jacob Bryant. Bowman and Barnes cross the blue line. Circles around. Bowie Harris from the point. That's blocked in front. It's two nice blocks by Agawam so far. Puck goes the length of the ice. It's an icing call. 6-12 remain in the first period of play here in Greenfield. 1-0 in favor of the Agawam Brownies. Face off to the left side of goaltender Nick Brady. Dangerous pass in front of his own cage. Jay Croto with it, head bends. He's looking for Porter Clancy, just missed him. Broto with a wrist shot from the point, but we've got an interference call. It's going to be Kevin Bowman. So with 5.35 remaining in the first period, Agawam goes on their power play. We've got their goal scoring unit back out on the ice. Puck skittered loose to the left side of Riley Drew. He got his trapper on it. Held the puck. We're going to do it all over again. Croto wins the draw back to Bryant. Bryant flips it the length of the ice. Nick Brady out. And just as quickly, he sends it back up ice to Dylan Slitch. Save Drew. Dylan Slitch, a tricky wrist shot from the point. Threw some legs. Riley Drew got his stick on it. Big hit in the neutral zone by Jacob Bryant. Sent Nate Manser flying. Team Katanaga. Dump the length of the ice by Matt Wilhite. Ooh, that one almost caught Nick Brady off guard. PK unit right now for the Green Wave is Adam Savoy, MJ Pollen, Bowie Harris. And Porter Clancy. MJ scales at the length of the ice. Again, Nick Brady, kind of a awkward save. Puck was going wide and he took it off the blocker. 
Kadnaga steps into the green wave zone. Harris with it. Porter Clancy cleared the zone. Brian Bowman back with it. Five seconds left in penalty time. Bowman clears it the length of the ice, and that's going to kill the power play here. Puck's loose. Nice job by Derek Lenoise keeping the puck in the Yagawan zone. Shot goes very wide by Brian Bowman. Cam Rice dumps it in deep. Puck bounces out front of Nick Brady. Nobody there to bang it home. Three minutes remain in the first period of play. Aguam leads this one, 1-0. One Save Drew and he holds on for the faceoff. Prusak wins the draw. Aiden Roach takes the body at the red line. Riley Drew left the puck. Left it for Cam Rice. Changed his mind on it and sent it back up this way. Puck up into the netting. Face off is going to go to the left of Riley Drew. Or I should say to Riley Drew's left. It's our right from up here. Our vantage point. Mentioned before, a raucous crowd here tonight at Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield. Can tell they're good. They want to become unglued for their green wave. Prusak on the draw for the wave. Is it back? Kevin Bowman over there. Puck lobbed in from the point. Kevin Bowman again. Cross ice to Aiden Roach. Roach was stripped by Kadanaga. Puck goes the length of the ice. Not quite far enough for icing. And Jay Paulin with it. Glove saved by Brady. Sean O'Sullivan looked like he picked his spot there, but Brady was equal to the task. We've got a minute 47 remaining in the first period. Score remains. 1-0 in favor of the Agawam Brownies. Puck just looked like Brady got a toe on that one. Kyle Barnes with it. Oh! He's hauled down. He's going to go for a trip on that one. Green Wave's going to go back on the power play. A minute 29 remain in the first period. Call is going to be hooking on Dylan Slick. That's his second time to the sin bin tonight. None too happy about it. Power play unit of Shane Prusak, Sean O'Sullivan, Aiden Roach with Bowie Harris and Jacob Bryant back on the points. Aguam gains the faceoff and dumps it the length of the ice. Riley Drew holds it for Bowie Harris. Harris takes a look, fans. Gets it over to Sully. O'Sullivan with it. He's got some open ice. Bryant drills one. And over the net. Hayden Roach hits one off the crossbar. 
Once again, puck goes length of the ice. We're down to 50 seconds remaining in the first period. O'Sullivan circles. He's got a lane. Intercepted. Prusak drops it for Harris. Back over to O'Sullivan. 35 seconds remain. Agawam once again clears the length of the ice. Drew holds it for Brian Bowman. Bowman takes a look. Skates across the middle. Cuts back in. Loses the puck behind the net. Brother Kevin Bowman kept it in at the blue line. We're down to 12 seconds. Brady makes the save and holds on with seven seconds remaining in the first period. Brian Bowman on the draw. Jacob Bryant with a cannon from the point. Brady swallowed that one. Only two seconds remain in the period. Riley Drew's coming out. We're going to get the extra attacker out there for the green wave. Two seconds is enough time. Almost worked for the Green Wave, but not this time. So at the end of one period of play here at the Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield, Massachusetts, it's the Agawam Brownies won the Green Wave of nothing. We'll be back with second period action in just a moment. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks. Customer-driven networking for your business. Software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure. ExtremeNetworks.com Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Welcome back to the Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield. We are ready for second period action between the Agawam Brownies and the Greenfield Green Wave. Agawam leads this one 1-0 one after one period of play. They're going to start the second period on an abbreviated power play. 32 seconds remain. On a hook and call to Agawam's Dylan Slitch. Brian Bauman wins the faceoff. Big shoulder thrown by Nate Manser. Jacob Bryant with the puck. Brian Bowman taken into the wall. Circles back Kevin Bowman. Five seconds to go in the penalty. Sides are back at full and equal strength. Bowman circles. Big save, Brady. Brian Bowman picked that puck up at the goal line. He circled through the faceoff dot. Had a nice lane, good look. Brady equal to the task, and he swallowed it. Shane Prusak out to take the draw for Greenfield. Hayden Roach drives one from the half wall. Brady just got the bottom of his glove on it. 
Puck goes back the other way. Goes the length of the ice, but the icing has been waved off. MJ Paulin with it. Chops it up to Sean O'Sullivan. Back to Paulin. Aiden Roach called for a hit right at the face-off dot. Referee calls it elbowing. So with 13.48 remaining in the second period, Agawam goes on a power play. Aiden Roach sitting for two. PK unit is Jake Croto. Porter Clancy. Cam Rice. And Jacob Bryant. Puck deflects up off the netting. He's deflected by a Greenfield player. Faceoff is going to be to Riley Drew's right side. Our left, as in this second period, the Green Wave are skating from left to right. Jay Croto won the draw. Porter Clancy cleared it the length of the ice. Nick Brady held it. Dylan Slitch. Porter Clancy with a nice four check. It's the puck away from him. Bodies flying everywhere. Agawam with the puck behind the net. Bryant. Drives it around the boards, goes the length of the ice. Brady with a long pass up to the red line. Jacob Bryant recalibrates. Off the boards, up to Matt Wilhite. Nick Bonagurio moves it forward. Puck goes into the Agawam bench, and we've got a play stoppage with 12.50 to go. In the second period of play, Agawam leads this one 1-0. One Minute two remain on the penalty to Green Wave's Adam Roach. Aiden Roach, excuse me. Jake Croto out to take the draw for the Green Wave. Wins it back. Kevin Bowman clears it the length of the ice. McBrady holds it, passes it off to Ryan Maloney. It seems to be a hot potato right now. Nobody wants it. Owen Connery tries to get it going. Jacob Bryan intercepts. It's in. Shoulder saved by Brady. Two on one the other way. Jacob Bryant rushing back to try and even up, even up the play. Took one of the Agawam players hard into the boards. Not sure who that is for Agawam. Got banged up there. He's, he's feeling it. He's getting some attention on the bench right now. Meanwhile, Nate Manser takes the puck. Sends it in wide of Riley Drew. Riley tries to clear it up. Penalties over to Aiden Roach. Back to full strength hockey. Bowman's got it. He's in alone. He shoots. Save Brady. Big save by Nick Brady. There's a turnover in the high slot area. Brian Bowman took the puck, had a good look. Nick Brady equal to the task. Got to say, that's the save of the night so far. 11 and a half remain in the second period. Another penalty on the green wave. Sean O'Sullivan takes a seat. He's in for slashing.
just as the Green Wave penalty killers got some fresh legs. They're back out to do their thing again. Jake Proto on the draw. MJ Pong looking to clear. Can't quite get it done. Puck bounces back. Saved by Riley Drew. Eleven fourteen remain in the second period of play here in Greenfield. Porter Clancy clears it. Nick Brady likes those long passes. Puck is sent the length of the ice by Dean Katernaga. Kevin Bowman. Centering attempt went. To the far side. Back on the point. Saved by Riley Drew. Jake Croto with it. Katanaga dishes back. Couldn't keep it in. Bonagurio back over to Katanaga. Flips it in. And Jay Paul in circles. Evan Danik gets the puck up the half wall. Ryan Lodato, the goal scorer, and it's cleared the length of the ice. Nick Brady stops it. It's again a long pass. That's going to be icing. Forty-eight seconds remain on the Agawam power play. Sean O'Sullivan in the box for slashing. Face off to Nick Brady's left. Adam Savoy in the corner. Dylan Slitch knocks the puck around. Mike Beaudry with it. Evan Danik taken out of the play. 30 seconds to go on the penalty. Jacob Brandt clears it out of the zone. Owen Connery gets it, dumps it back in. 15 seconds and penalty time remain. Puck is loose. Jacob Bryant battles for it, looks to backhand it out. Drew deflects the puck back behind the net. Back out to the point, penalty's over. Back to full strength hockey. Puck is loose. Sean O'Sullivan cuts in. Big save. Brady again. Off his right shoulder. Intercepted by Brian and Bauman. Bauman circles. Fakes again. Oh, just over the cage. Bauman off the referee's foot. And that's going the length of the ice. That's going to be icing. You are watching Green Wave Hockey on FCAT Sports and worldwide on YouTube. Please follow FCAT Sports on YouTube. Some great community programs on there. Brian Bauman out for the draw for the Green Wave. Kept in by brother Kevin Bauman. Kyle Barnes and Cannon Grover battle for the puck. Brian Bauman, nice job. Barnes sends it in deep. Derek Lenoy gets it over to Bauman. Oh, puck is deflected, just went wide. Agawam's on their heels right now. Caden Grover clears it out. Connor Adamchik gets a look. Meanwhile, Kevin Bauman gets the puck down behind his own goal line. Referee calls that one an icing. Couldn't quite see. Looked like somebody might have touched it along the way, but I guess not. Faceoff goes back down to Riley Drew's right side. 7.54 to go in a 1-0 hockey game. Opening night here in Greenfield. Great crowd on hand. 
Jacob Brand flips the puck out to the neutral zone. Aiden Roach. Jacob Brand steps in. Over to Sam Knight. Sam Knight. Brady made the save. Rob D'Angelo tries to get it out. Meanwhile, Roach gets it, takes a look, gets it across. Oh, just out of Sammy Knight's reach. Cam Rice goes in deep. Cam Rice, another save by Brady. Mike Beaudry clears at the length of the ice. That's going to go for another icing call. For most of the last five or six minutes, that ice has been tilted into Green Wave's favor. Nick Brady's been equal to the task so far. <laughs> Brian Bauman out to take the draw. 7.09 remain in the second period of play. Kyle Barnes back to Bowie Harris. Dylan Slitch brought it in deep for Agawam. Owen Connery along the half wall. Brian Bowman with it. Agawam keeping two defenders back. Play goes in onside. Brian Bowman steps around. Another oh, save by Brady. A little bit of chirping after the whistle there. 6.26 to go in the second period. <laughs> Dylan Slitch clears the puck. Sean O'Sullivan says hello. Kevin Bauman back to MJ Paul, and MJ takes a look. Back to Kevin Bauman. Kevin bounces one. Puck knocked back down behind the Greenfield net. Up this way, Sean O'Sullivan. He's got it in alone. Hit the post. Got a whistle on the plays. Nick Brady went over to make the save. He kicked the post. Net came off its moorings. This remains a 1-0 hockey game with 5.45 to go in the second period. Sean O'Sullivan with one of the better looks of the night on Nick Brady. Jake Crowder out to take the draw. Puck goes up in the air. Matt Wilhite. Back to the point to Jacob Bryant. Bryant drives one wide. Cam Rice chips it back up. Porter Clancy back to Rice. Clancy again after it. Shovels it out. Intercepted by Andrew, Andrew Brasso. Some nice play by Cam Rice keeping the puck in the zone. Goes down behind the Agawam net. Cannon Grover with it. Big, Jacob Bryant keeps it in momentarily. Puck goes harmlessly down into the greenfield end of the ice. Cam Rice. Sends it up to Brian Bowman. Got a one-on-one -on -one deal here. Gets it across. Just out of the reach of Porter Clancy. Slap shot from the right side. Harris keeps it in. Bryant with another blast from the point. Evan Danek with the puck. 
chips it out to the neutral zone. Kyle Barnes gets it back to Harris. Bryant with the spinorama. Barnes goes in deep. Aguam shoots at the length of the ice. Riley had to make the save. Kevin Bauman. Tic-tac-toes up to Brian. Kevin Bauman puts the shoulder into Ryan Lodato. Puck's loose. I believe we're going to have a penalty on the play. Nate Manser headed to the penalty box for the Brownies. Three minutes, 30 seconds remain in the second period of play. Referee calls that one charging. Green Wave go on the power play. Shane Prusak out to take the draw for Greenfield. Not sure what the conference is about. Prusak wins the draw. It's back to Roach. Roach blocked in front. Oh, he had that shot labeled. Back to Kevin Palman. Cross on the far side. Just outside. Face off just outside the Agawam blue line. 3.20 to go in the second period of play. Aiden Roach circles. Brings it in. Wow. He steamrolled Owen Connery there. Takes a look. Kevin Bowman keeps it in on the right side. Riley Drew stops it. Leaves it for Jacob Bryant. Bryant's going to take a look. Minute 20 to go on the power play. Sean O'Sullivan breaking up the left side. Cuts in. Oh! Brady knocked the puck away. Good thing he did. Shane Prusak was right there to collect the mail. Driven back in by Andy Grasso. Bryant. Big shot by Bryant just over the net. Harris across to Roach. Roach in a one-on-four battle somehow wins it. O'Sullivan crosses the ice. He's got the puck now. Back to Roach. Brady got his elbow on that one. It went up over the net. Hit the netting and went into souvenir country. Forty seconds remain on the Agawam penalty. The Green Wave power play. Brian Ballman out now with line mates Kyle Barnes and Derek Lenoyes. Bowie Harris and Kevin Bowman on the points. Bowman wins. Back to Kevin. Lenoyes with it. Gets in deep, takes a look. Back to Kevin Bowman, back to Lenoyes. Kyle Barnes behind the goal line. Puck hits that short ceiling in here. Face off should be to the right of Nick Brady. 14 seconds to go in the Green Wave power play. Just had a teaser, Blitzkrieg bop there. 
Actually, faceoff came outside into the neutral zone. 14 seconds to go on the power play. Bowman wins the draw. Pucks loose. Kyle Barnes with it. Circles. Look for the wraparound. Oh! Puck dangerously went through the Agawam crease. Penalty ended and Nate Manser came out, collected the puck, but Riley Drew equal to the task. Brian Bauman coming this way. He's got an open lane. Circles. Can't get the good shot away. Bowie Harris backhands it in. Kyle Barnes with it. Brian Bowman back to brother Kevin Bowman. It's in and pucks loose. Puck goes the other way. There goes Nate Manser after it. Battle of the 22s. Jacob Bryant takes it. 45 seconds to go in the second period. Jacob Bryant gets in deep. He's got O'Sullivan. Puck just bounced, bounced over Sully's stick. Cam Rice with it. Half a minute to go. Roach leaves it for Prusak. Saved by Brady. Puck's loose, Prusak can't quite keep it in. Drew gets the puck. Last five seconds of the period. Puck comes out of the zone, that's gonna do it. No scoring in that second period. After two periods of play here at the Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield, the score remains. The Agawam Brownies won. The Greenfield Green Wave, zero. We will be back with third period action in just a moment. You're watching Green Wave Hockey on FCAT Sports. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer-driven networking for your business. Software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure. ExtremeNetworks.com Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. And we are back for third period action here at the Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield. You've got the Green Wave skate doctor, Lou Bordeaux, here with you tonight. Opening night in Greenfield. Agawam leading this one by a count of one to nothing after two periods of play. Green Wave had a much better second period than they did the first. As they outshot Agawam 15 to three in that stanza. Puck bounces loose right away. Puck back down behind the Agawam goal. Kyle Barnes shoots it out front. Evan Danik crossing through the neutral zone. Drops it. Brian Bauman picks it up. Moves it up the boards. Derek Lenoy chips it out. Driven back in by Nate Manser. MJ Pollen, long stretch pass out of the reach of Kyle Barnes. That one's going to be an icing call. Ah! 
Had a good conversation with head coach Adam Bouchard between periods. He liked a lot of what he saw in the second period. Just needs the Green Wave skaters to finish their finish the plays off a little bit better. McBrady's been good in goal for Aguam. Keeping the Green Wave off the board. Aiden Roach with it. Gets it out it's behind Sean O'Sullivan. Puck bounces in front of the Aguam bench. Cam Rice sends it into the Aguam zone. Rice has been solid tonight. Jacob Bryant turns. Big Jacob Bryant collision there. And the Green Wave are offside. 13-33 to go in the third period of play. Opening night in Greenfield, the 2019-2020 season. We're going to bring you as many games as we can here on FCAT Sports and on YouTube. As I said earlier, make sure you follow FCAT Sports if you're on YouTube. Also check out the all-new GreenWaveHockey.com. Website put together, a lot of Green Wave news, schedule, information about the team. The Brownies send it the length of the ice for an icing call. Face off to the left of goaltender Nick Brady. Brady's been perfect on the night thus far. Puck goes into the corner, Derek Lenoise. Puck is free and cleared out by Agawam. Yet another icing call. You're watching Green Wave Hockey on FCAT Sports. Face off once again to the left of goaltender Nick Brady. Shane Prusak out to take the draw for the green wave. It's a stalemate, but it comes around the side of the boards. Jacob Bryant chips it back in. Aiden Roach centers the puck. Agawam can't clear their zone. Battle along the half wall, puck bounces out. Sean O'Sullivan takes the body, gets the puck. Passes up to Roach. Roach wanted to lead O'Sullivan, got it a little too far out in front of him. He played just over two and a half here in the third period. Currently a one goal lead for the Agawam Brownies. Agawam lost their opener last night in Amherst to the Hurricanes by a count of 5 0. Brian Bauman wins the draw. And Jay Pollen chips it out. Lenoise dumps it in. Goes into the far corner. Brian Bowman after it. Kyle Barnes gets it out front. Brady smothered it in his leg pads. Going to be a face off to his left side. One nothing in favor of the Brownies. Ryan Lodato scored the only goal of the night so far. 5.30 of the first period. Brian Bauman wins it back. Get up, get up, get up. 
Julie Harris takes a look. Banks it off the glass. Bauman and Barnes, a two on one. Nice defensive play there by Ryan Maloney. As he got right between, blocked the pass. Derek Lenoy's in deep, Maloney on him. Bucks loose. Barnes with it, Pucks in front. Brian Bauman turned, just missed the net. Bowie Harris got the shot in from the point once again. Nick Brady held on for the faceoff. 11.21 to go in the third period of play. Green Wave still looking for their first goal of the 2019-2020 campaign. Who's it going to be? Shane Prusak won the drop, pulled it back to O'Sullivan. Had a nice shot. Brady got the glove on that one. Another faceoff to his left side. Shot from the point. Just goes wide. Kept in by O'Sullivan. Puck is down behind the Aguam cage. Kept in by Kevin Bowman. Momentarily, I should say. Kevin Bowman again across ice. O'Sullivan. Brady with a save. Puck's loose. Rob D'Angelo gets it out. Aguam seems content to just clear the puck. That's Nick Bonagurio. Clears it the length of the ice for an icing call. One would think that a one-goal lead is not going to be enough here on the ice surface at the Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield. Brian Bauman out to take the draw for Green Wave. Evan Danik clears it out. And Jay Paulin with the puck. Circles behind his own cage. Chips it up to Kyle Barnes. He's kept in at the point by Owen Connery. Barnes over on the other side. He's hauled down. He's going. It's going to be a Green Wave power play. Nate Manser makes his second trip to the box tonight. It's time for a trip. We're going to get another look at the Green Wave power play unit. 10-13 to go in the third period. Green Wave trail 1-0. Shane Prusak on the draw. Referee called that one offside. Face off in front of the Agawam bench. Shane Prusak on again. Kevin Bauman over to Jacob Bryant. Jacob Bryant is going to go behind Riley Drew. Drops it for O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan with a head of steam. Crosses through the neutral zone. O'Sullivan goes coast to coast with it. Back to Roach. Shot goes high and wide. Agawam content to just clear that puck. Minute 25 to go in the power play. Aiden Roach. He's got some open ice. Drives right through an Agawam defender. Gets down behind the Agawam net. Brownies once again clear at the length of the ice. Riley Drew's going to hold it. Jacob Bryant once again picks up the puck. Bryant gets into the Agawam zone. He's down behind the net. O'Sullivan. Oh, big save, Brady. Sean O'Sullivan had a quick look there. Puck up into the netting. 
46 seconds remain on the Green Wave power play. Faceoff is going to be in the neutral zone. 8.58 remain in the third period of play. Kevin Bauman loses the puck in his feet. I go on chips it harmlessly down into the greenfield zone. Half a minute to go on the power play. Brian Bauman has the puck. He takes a long look, skates through the neutral zone. Cross ice feed to Kevin Bowman. Shots blocked out front by Ryan Maloney. aguam has been solid at blocking shots tonight. Kyle Barnes moves in. Brian Bowman with it. Save Brady. Tries the wraparound. Didn't work. Five seconds to go in the power play. Back to O'Sullivan. Another block by Ryan Maloney. Penalty's over. Back to equal strength. Puck goes all the way down into the greenfield zone. We're under eight minutes to go in the third period of play. Puck is intercepted. Kyle Barnes. Bowie Harris for the Green Wave. Chips it up to Kyle Barnes, dumps it in. Seven and a quarter to go in the third period. Dylan Slitch dangerously got his stick on that right in front of his goaltender. Bowie Harris in deep. Can't connect. Plays offside. Connor Adamczyk put one move too many on. Caden Grover couldn't stay on side. Face off right here in the neutral zone. Just below our vantage point here in the Collins Moylan Arena. 6.57 to go in the third period of play. Brian Bauman back through the neutral zone. Drops it for Kyle Barnes. Kyle Barnes, oh, just missed the net. Kevin Bowman over on the other point. Puck is loose behind the net. Kyle Barnes with it. Barnes out to Kevin Bowman. Nice save by Brady. Got the right pad on that one. Puck is loose. MJ Pollen. Long pass to Kyle Barnes. Brownies with a breakout. Pollen with the puck. Puck goes back. Kevin Bauman collects. Got a delayed penalty coming up. It's going to be Aiden Roach. Ref calls that one a cross check. So with 5.43 to go in the third period of play. Green Wave have to get their PK unit back out there again. It's going to be Jake Croto. Jacob Bryant, Porter Clancy, and Bowie Harris. Puck right on the blue line, kept in. Jacob Bryant with it. Green 
Green Wave can't clear the zone. Not sure where Jacob Bryant got that puck, but he's not feeling too well right now. Jake Croto takes the body out at the blue line. Kept in by Katanaga. Off the Clancy skate. Under one minute in the Agawam power play. Both sides looking a little disorganized out there right now. Clancy dumps it down. I can't believe I just saw that. Nick Brady went to make another one of those long passes that we've seen him do all night long. He fumbled the puck, Adam Savoy collected it. And Greenfield is on the board with a shorthanded goal. Unbelievable. What a turn of events. Adam Savoy scores Greenfield's first goal of the season. You sensed that those long passes Nick Brady was making was just going to be a matter of time before something strange happened, and it sure did. With 4.14 to go, we've got a 1-1 hockey game. Green Wave have to feel better about that now. <laughs> Saved by Riley Drew. 15 seconds, 16 seconds remain on the penalty to Aiden Roach. One tick under four minutes remain here in the third period of play. 3.59 to go. Scores 1-1. Brian Bauman on the draw. Kevin sends it the length of the ice. Brady stops it. And he's going to hold on. Nothing fancy that time. Nine seconds remain on the Agawam power play. Face off to the left of goaltender Nick Brady. Brian Bauman won the draw. O'Sullivan with a nice wrist shot. Brady got the blocker on that, sent it over the cage. Penalty's over, back to equal strength. Evan Danik on the far side. Kevin Bauman takes a look. Puck's loose. Dylan Slitch, Dylan Slitch buries it. Green Wave got a little too fancy in their own zone. Just like that, the Brownies regain the lead with 3.28 to go. O'Sullivan knocks the puck down into the Agawam zone. Three and a quarter remain. Puck up into the netting. Faceoff will be outside the blue line. Agawam maintaining a 2-1 lead at this point. So just as quickly as the tables turned against the Brownies, things are back in their favor.
But a hand pass by the Brownies. Faceoff's going to be back down in their zone. Three oh nine to go in the third period. Now the wave has to be looking at that clock. Coach Adam Bouchard and the staff certainly going to do what they can to put the team's best skate forward. Brian Bauman with the puck at center ice. Clears it in. Under three minutes to go in the third period. Battle along the half wall. Puck bounces free. MJ Paulin with it. Cross ice to Bryant. Brian Bauman. Save Brady. Gathered in the rebound for a whistle. Faceoff is going to be to Nick Brady's left with 2.24 to go in the third period of play. Kevin Bauman keeps it into the blue line. Puts it down to Kyle Barnes. Brian Bauman ends up with the puck. Back to Bowie Harris. Harris gets it down into the corner. Kyle Barnes once again. Barnes breaks free. Sees Kevin Bowman. Kyle Barnes. Oh, save Brady. Got the stick on that one. We've got 100 seconds to go in regulation time. Barnes back. Oh, once again. That's twice. That's twice that. Uh, well, I'm not on the blue line. I'm. Uh, about 40 feet away, so I guess it came out. One thirty-one to go in the third period. And Coach Bouchard takes a timeout. the fellows a chance to catch their breath for 30 seconds. Well, the strategy has been laid out. Green Wave have just one second over a minute and a half to get the job done here. They trail 2-1 to one with 131 to go. Aguan dumps the puck in, minute 20 to go. Harris and Evan Danik battle for the puck. Harris emerges with it. Comes back this way. Danik takes it. Riley freezes the puck. 109 to go. Face off to Riley Drew's left. Bowman wins the faceoff, gets out into the neutral zone. Aguan clears it back in. Aguan in alone. They score. Brian Lodato's second goal of the night. Agawam takes the 3-1 lead. And you would have to think, unless there's a miracle here, 
that the Green Wave are going to drop the home opener tonight. Down to 45 seconds to go. Green Wave pull Riley Drew. They've got six attackers out. Puck is loose in front of Nick Brady. O'Sullivan save Brady. 30 seconds to go. O'Sullivan again. Puck's loose. Brian Bauman scores! Brian Bowman with one of those greasy goals that you just love to see. He was camped out in front of Brady. Hammered it home. Looks like O'Sullivan's got an assist on that one. Agawam taking their time out. So with 24 seconds remaining on the clock, it's a 3-2 hockey game. Brian Bowman's first goal of the season. All right, friends, 24 seconds to go. Riley Drew's about 25 feet in front of his goal crease. You know, if, I, if uh, the Green Wave can win this draw, he's coming out. They worked their magic once. Puck is loose in the Greenfield zone. 20 seconds to go. Kevin Bowman circles behind his net. Juggles it momentarily. Up the boards to Kyle Barnes. 10 seconds to go. Kyle Barnes cuts in. Puck's loose. Just went wide, five, four. Just not enough, that's the game. Agawam wins this one, three to two. Well, you can't say that the Green Wave didn't make that one interesting. And it looks like in the celebration, one of the Agawam players got his bell rung a little bit. Green Wave Doc Jamie Coffin out there to check on things, make sure everybody's okay. Just a little exuberance, I guess. And the sides shake hands, traditionally. We're going to be back to wrap this one up in just a moment here in Greenfield, where the final score was the Agawam Brownies 3 and the Greenfield Green Wave 2. All right, friends, we're back here at the Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield. Skate Dr. Lou Bordeaux here with you tonight. Green Wave falling on opening night 3-2 to two to the Agawam Brownies. Agawam comes out of the weekend, one win, one loss. Green Wave will get back on it next Saturday night right here at the Collins Moylan Arena when the Drury Blue Devils come to town. Just going to recap the goals tonight. Ryan Lodato got Agawam on the board five minutes and 30 seconds into the first period. Little schmoz in front of goaltender Riley Drew. That put the Brownies up, 1-0. We had a scoreless second period, so going into the third, 1-0 Agawam. But then something strange happened with Aiden Roach in the penalty box for Greenfield. The puck had gone back to Agawam goaltender Nick Brady. Brady earlier in the game on special team situations. It made 100-foot passes. He went to do it again, and he just juggled it. He lost control of the puck. Adam Savoy was in on the four check, picked up the puck, took his time and just put it in the net for Greenfield's first goal of the season. And who knows where we were headed after that. Well, Green Wave got a little reckless in front of their own net. It was like nobody wanted the puck. And Dylan Slitch saw the loose biscuit just standing there and he buried it. A little while later, Again, a little bit of a defensive breakdown near goaltender Riley Drew. And Ryan Lodato connected for his second goal of the night for Agawam. Another one where everybody was in tight, nobody wanted the puck. The next thing it's in the back of the net. So the Brownies have gone ahead 3-1. to one, And it really looked as if it were a lost cause at that point. 
Coach Adam Bouchard pulled Drew, put the extra attacker out, and then with just about half a minute to go, Captain Brian Bauman, just a beautiful greasy goal right in at the top of the blue paint. Sean O'Sullivan with a nice speed. We said earlier he's got the softest hands in the business. Got the puck over to Bowman, who buried it. Three to two, but just with half a minute remaining, not enough time to get it done. Uh, if these two teams were to meet again, might be a different result, but for tonight, it's a 3-2 win for the Agawam Brownies. Not to take anything away from Coach Rich Feely's team, they did a great job out there all night long. Uh, tenacious on the four check, they played a really hard, solid hockey game. So from here, Green Wave are gonna practice this week. Like I said, they'll be back here next Saturday night to take on the Drury Blue Devils. We'll be here with you on FCAT Sports and on YouTube after the fact. So whatever you do, if you get a chance, come on out and join us here at the Collins Moylan Arena next Saturday. Face-off time is 6.30. Until then, I'm the skate doctor, Lou Bordeaux, saying good night from Greenfield.